just got him a barber quarter. Check that out. First one ever. And I just came through here and missed it. It's a seated. It is a seated quarter. And I just dug my first large scent. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar. That is a breastplate, eagle breastplate, folks. All right, this is going to be a cool token. Man, check that out. That's just unbelievable. Look at that, guys. I have never dug a U.S. plate. Ah, you got to kiss her. She's beautiful. Mwah. What is it? Give me a hug. <laughs> He's hugging me. That must be good. Preacher Digger's back out on the road again for the first time in 2024. I've been taking a little break, and it's been a while, but uh, I got my digging buddy over here, digging Doc Holiday with us, and we are headed north of where I live for about a couple of hours, and we're going to just go to this old town that I saw, and got a lot of old houses at it, and we're just going to door knock, and there's about 20, 25 houses that are potential yards, and so maybe we get two or three yards out of this and if we do we're going to find a lot of good stuff and so uh, i'll be posting uh, some of the approaches on how to door knock and get permission uh, in this video so be watching that and uh, so we got just a little bit further to go and uh, but what are we going to find what do we want to get digging dog uh, silver i'm always saying barber in these videos just because i haven't found very many of them lately so hopefully seated and Flying eagle scents, Indians, all the good stuff. Oh man, he's, he's but, wanting the good stuff. Yeah. Well, it's possible in some of these old yards that we're going to be at. Uh, I just happened to be driving through this town for work one day and uh, saw all these houses and I said, hey, that's going to be one that we got to go door knock. So uh, this is going to be new for me. I don't normally door knock, so it's going to be kind of a new experience. And uh, so hopefully we're going to find some good homes and when we get on the homes and we find some good stuff, we're definitely going to show you. So we got a little bit further to go, and so I'll see you guys out in the yard. Texas but today it's like 40s and the winds blowing 20 miles an hour so it's a little nippy uh, we stopped at our first house that we scouted out and I was the first one to knock and I scored this beautiful 1890 house that's being remodeled I met the loan landowner homeowner inside and he said have at it it's got a big backyard big side yard so 1890s so let's get the swinging let's see what we can get well, I'm gonna be hunting with my man again today I put all my normal settings up there on the side. You can see what I hunt with. I normally stay with those settings. Sometimes I change a little bit on the sensitivity. So we are got our first permission. So let's get at it. Get a good high tone, 95, about eight, six inches deep. I don't know. Let's live dig this and let's see. Let's see, a lot of trash in these yards so far by the sidewalk, so it could be, it could be just uh, a can or something like that. So we're going to be over on this side, let's keep going over here. See, I can't hold the camera too steady, can I? There it is right there. It's gonna be a 
a nice uh, copper piece of trash. With some writing on it. What's that going to say? Me some type of coupler. I don't know. Let's just keep swinging. See if we can't find a good coin here. All right. Just beside that live dig that I just dug, I got another 94. I didn't live dig this one because I thought it was going to be trash again, but I popped up like a horseshoe or something. Let's check this out. All right. It's going to be right here, guys. Check this out. It's got writing on it. Magnet? No, it's got a. It was mounted to something. There's some little brads on the back. Huh. Let's uh, get some water on this and let's clean this up and let's see what this is going to be. All right, here it is. It's going to say good luck. Big good luck horseshoe. Check that out. I'll have to do some research and see what this is going to be. You can see it's got, it was mounted to something at one time. But, uh, oh, it's pretty good size too. Yeah, I like that. Let's get a picture. Let's keep swinging for some more relics and some more silver coins. Ah, digging Doc said he got a piece of history here. Yeah, that's, I've got one like that. It's the three merry widows, Agnes, Mabel, and, and Becky, I think, or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Old condom tin from the 1920s and 30s. Hey, it's a fun. Yeah. Let's keep looking for the real copper silver. Here's a little bit better view of the house. 1890s being restored. I think maybe this yard had maybe been detected because we're only finding modern pennies and not a lot of targets at all. Not even a lot of trash. Uh, some trash, but uh, but who knows? You never know until you start digging it. So we're going to finish this yard out. And there's about 25 of the yards we're going to try to, you know, go hit. We're going to pick out a couple and see what we come up with. So let's keep swinging. Well, we think that yard may have been detected. We didn't find any Indian heads, no wheat pennies, no silver whatsoever. And so these old houses, you know, you never know in these old towns. Somebody could have been here and detected these. But we're going to move on to the next house. So we'll see you out in the yard. Well, we moved on to uh, another permission. There's a digging dock. It's a 1901 permission. We're back in the backyard. We're going to hit the front yard later. Um, I got a 9091 here and just popped it up. And check this out. That's going to be an old, probably 1960s car, I would think. I always like digging these old toys. Nice little find. Let's set her up there on the pedestal. Let's get a picture. Let's keep swinging for some silver. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, boy. Yeah. You being camera shy? Huh? You being camera shy? You good old boy. Yes, you are. Well, that wraps up yard number two. We've been two for two so far. But we haven't found much in these two yards. I don't know if these yards have been uh, hunted uh, before or there's just nothing here. It's real gumbo, clay, black dirt. It's hard to dig. It sticks to your shovel. And we're not finding any Wheaties. We're not finding any silver. Uh, no Indians. Nothing. And, and this this house, we only hunted the backyard. The front yard, he had re uh, sodded. And he said we could, but we could tell he didn't really want us. So we didn't we didn't push that. We didn't do the front yard. So, moving on to the next. So, let's knock on another door. Well, we've moved on to our third permission. And it looks like a 19, maybe a 10 house, something there, somewhere around there. So it's a corner lot. Got sidewalks up each side. I'm back over in the back side. Got a good 9091 signal and popped it up. And this is what I'm looking at. See it? Right there. It'll be a big brass buckle. It says Sam. Sam, I am. Check that out. Let me clean it up a little bit. We'll get a better shot. All right. It's going to say Sam. We turned it over. It's going to say Solid Brass Taiwan Republic of China. Yeah, I don't think Taiwan thinks themselves anymore as a Republic of China. But anyway, number 4002. Still in good shape. Hmm. That's interesting. 
All right, let's get a picture and let's keep on digging. 80, and I walked right through here. You got me. Hunter says he's on the board. Oh my gosh. Let's clean it up and see what it is. Got a dime finally. We got some Look silver. Look at that. All right, maybe our looks are turning. What time? What day is that? See? 1909 Barber. Last year? What? No, no, 19, 1916. Let's crack the back. We'll Go ahead. Well, they're going to get on to us, huh? 1909 plane. Beautiful. All right, man. You got me. I walked through here and missed that. <laughs> hey, I mean, yeah. you see where it was. Wow. Yeah, this old cleachy thick dirt, it's not going very deep. All right, man. Well, congratulations. You're on the board. I appreciate it. Let's keep swinging for another one. All right. All right, we hit another house and didn't find anything, and here's another house we hit. That's our fourth. I don't know if you can hear me with the winds blowing. It's cold. This is an 1895 home. Hunter landed this one, so day's getting kind of long. It's got kind of coming to an end, so we're going to hit it and hit a vacant lot, and then we're going to take the two-hour drive home. So I haven't found a whole lot, but uh, we're making contacts and a lot of resources uh, to come back on is what we're doing as well. And so we're marking down houses. I'm contacting some old churches and parsonages, and so we're going to make another trip back up here and see what else we can get. So let's get to swinging, get some heat going here, and uh, see if we can't get some silver and some good relics. All right, guys. We are at 1895 home. I'm just outside the sidewalk, and I'm getting a 94, 93, six inches deep, right on the conductive line. That's showing trash though, all gone it. Oh well, let's uh let's see what this is gonna be. Let's see what this is gonna be. This ground is like black cleachy. Sticks to your shovel. You can't even dig it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Mm. We'll be a little deeper. Right down there. Nope. This is gonna be a clad quarter. It's gonna be clad. Oh well, we tried. Let's keep swimming. Well, we made it back up to this little town that we're hunting in. Hunter's already swinging away. We got permission on this uh, 1890s house here, and I got a big vacant lot on this side over here that we're going to hit. And so maybe this time we uh, get lucky and get some uh, good stuff. So let's get to swinging. Let's see what we can find. Well, I got my first signal here. I'm in the front yard just right off the, the front porch. Got a 32. I just thought, well, what the heck? Let's dig it up and see what it is anyway. Y'all look at this. First time I've ever dug this. There it is. I know what it is. You'll know what it is too when I pop it up. Y'all know what that is? I'll give you one guess. Here we go. Dug my first big old magnet. That's kind of neat. All right, let's keep on swinging and see what else we can get. Oh, I tell you, it's been tough. We've been all over this yard, and we haven't found anything. Just one weedy and that magnet. And uh, I just found a little eagle piece and a little buckle. Nothing fantastic. But I got over here behind this, uh, in this alleyway, and I was getting a 58 to a 60. So I'm just digging everything. And pop this up, and I see the back of a button. So let's go see what kind of button this is going to be. All right. 
you'll see it right there let's see what kind of button all right it's gonna be a great seal button let me clean it up and uh, let's see if we can figure out what top it is all right it's gonna be a great seal they actually made three different types of these I don't know which one this is this is not a coat this is gonna be just a regular coat button it's about size of a quarter and it does have a name on the back I don't know if y'all can make that out out here in the Sun it's pretty worn and so I'm gonna dig around here see if we can't find another one so let's keep swinging well I got a good quarter signal got my first token for the day and I think it's gonna be a Chuck E. Cheese token I mean who hasn't dug one of these things oh gosh what's up with these yards in this town I'll tell you what we uh, hitting this house here it's not that over the old of a house but their old house used to sit right here you can see that old house in the back all these houses are 1890s to early 1900s didn't find anything except that uh, magnet and that uh, great seal button uh, a couple little items right there but no no coins and so I don't know what it is with this place you can look across the street and you can see it's all old houses but no coins everything's just modern stuff all right let's keep swinging maybe we'll get some old stuff it's getting a real scratchy iffy tone here dug it up we got a high tone after that it's going to be a piece of victorian era jewelry a brooch let's clean it up and see what it's going to look like well there it is nice i put that in my victorian period jewelry display I don't know what, exactly what it is. I don't see where a pin was attached to anything like that. But, nice piece of uh, older stuff. So, and you see we're digging red brick out of here too. There's a big piece right there. And I just got through digging a square nail. So you know there's going to be an old house right here on this vacant lot. So maybe we'll get into some good stuff. Let's keep swinging. And 85 to a 91. Showing trash, but they're showing three things in the hole. All right, let's see if we can't uh, do a live dig on this, see what we come up with. Maybe. This ground is so hard to dig in. I can't dig any plugs. There's red brick everywhere. Let's see if we can spot some silver in here somewhere. I gotta go slow. My legs hurting. My knees. All right, it's gonna be right over there. Right there. We have been striking out very badly. Still showing down in here. I don't see anything yet, do you? Uh, a lot of square nails. So that's not what I was getting though. Let's see here. Well, gotta be something down in here. Oh, I just saw a little, I just saw a little bit of silver. Did y'all see that? 
Right there. Right there. Finally. I think this these coins are being masked. Oh. All right. Yeah, forgive me, but my filming is not the greatest right now because my knee is killing me to sit down on it here. All right, what we got? What we got here? It'd be good if I just hang on to the coin. I don't know where the coin went. There it is. There it is. All right, coming out clean. Can you read what that is? Because I can't. 18, 1897, is that what it is? 1897? It's pretty worn. I'll try to keep it in focus for you guys. All right, finally. That gave us a little bit of encouragement here. We're getting really down because we're not finding anything good. All right, let's keep going. Let's get a picture and let's see if there's another one down here. I'm getting an 85. That's something you don't dig every day. I think that's a 50 caliber bullet. Pretty big, look at it compared to my finger. Right there, almost as long as my middle finger. Wow, that went through you, that hurt, wouldn't it? All right, let's keep rolling. Hunter just came over here and told me to ring that up and he got him a one cent. A one cent. A little Indian head. Can you get the date off of it? I'm still looking. I may have to, I may have to clean it up a little we bit. We moved on to this house here. We stopped by and they didn't give us permission. They just they wanted to wait and talk to his wife. And so I left my name and number and then they called back and they let us come over here. He found that uh, Indian right over there. This house was built like in 1901 by the Baptist, a first Baptist church pastor in Dallas, the first original pastor. I think George Truitt, I think his name was Truitt his name. And so, so that's one Indian. We've been here about 15 minutes, dug some clad. So maybe there's gonna be a silver. So let's get to keep it going. Hunter's calling me over and just got him a barber quarter. First one ever. Check that out, first one. And I just came through here and missed it. What was it ringing up as? Clad quarter, like 92. Oh, watch my. Oh, we've been digging all day long. How did I miss that? Wow, man, that's great. Check that out. 1890. What is it? Five, I think, or something. 1895. Well, I dug a lottery token earlier, and I was like, man. Uh, I hope that's not like a tax token. Not that that would have been a bad find. But yeah. That's awesome. Travis says the mint mark on there. I didn't even turn it over yet. Wow, man. There you go. Oof. Let me get your picture with that. That's awesome, man. And I missed it. You always wanted to go behind me and get something, didn't you? <laughs> yes. Man, there's got to be another one in here. Let's keep going. Well, that's going to finish it up for us on this hunting adventure. We spent uh, two different Saturdays up here, separated by two weeks, and uh, all the houses that we did was 1890, 1895, 1901. They're great homes to hit, but just there's nothing in these yards. So either they didn't lose anything, or they just been detected, or we're not very good detectors. But we did squeak out a few good finds. Well, I should say Hunter did at the very end on our last house uh, so it was a, a 1901 house i think but he found a couple of good things there but the ground is really really difficult to dig in it's that black sticky clay and and sticks to your shovel you can't do a good plug and uh but uh, we we managed it i don't know if we're going to come back too much on no. this place uh, i mean the people are wonderful the houses are great but the yards didn't have a lot but the ground's just so hard to dig in and uh, just wears you out. Well, it wears this old man out anyway. Someone like him, it doesn't wear him out. But anyway, 
we had a good time uh, we found a few good items so let me spin you around let me show you what we got on this trip all right guys look at the trash that we dug oh my goodness did we dig trash I wish that was a Indian head penny and a barber dime and seeded for everything that we dug but look what we had to dig just to get this right here and uh, wore us out but uh, we did it uh, here's Hunter's finds he's got him a couple bullet shotgun got a big old nice square nail got a three Mary widows condom 1920s 30s got some D buckles he's got a few D's and one 1800s buckle here he got some uh, other knick-knack stuff some type of lid got him a Texas token a couple of dog tags he ended up getting two four six eight nine quarters three six nine twelve fifteen pennies he squeaked out four nickels man i didn't get a single nickel um he got uh one two three four five six seven dimes or is those pennies those are pennies a couple mm -hmm. of dimes and three wheaties got some little postal thing that's really neat for disabled uh veterans that was what 1966 you said around 66 yeah i uh, got him a great seal button somewhere there it is right there got him a great seal button and so he had a pretty good day but here's his great uh, finds he found this today at that last house that we were on we don't really know the date on this it's kind of glazed over so we can't really tell anyway it's an indian head penny uh, he got this last week 1909 barber dime but look at this he got this at the last house 1895 look at the condition of that barber quarter and i went right by it i didn't i didn't get it so but i'm glad he got it because this is his first barber quarter ever so i've dug many barbers i'm glad hunter got that one and uh, so there's his finds he didn't have too bad of a you know for a two-day hunt what not the, wasn't the silver that we wanted i got some type of alarm clock some type of uh that's brass magnet i got a bunch of toy cars one there uh um, oh i forgot what kind of that car that is it's um oh i don't know i can't remember but nice old hasp of a lock solid super lock bronze lock um what else did i get here I got one, two, three dollars and fifty cents and quarters. I got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-eight dimes. I've got uh, nine, no, pennies, twenty-eight pennies, and I got nine dimes and one Chuck E. Cheese token, two thousand four. Um, got a piece of uh, uh, Victorian era, I would say. Uh, whatever that is, uh, some type of brooch or something, piece of jewelry. I like that. I put that in my display. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, a 50 cal bullet. Check that out. 50 cal bullet. I got some other little buckle here. It's got a neat little design on it. I'm going to go and straighten this out and clean it up and see what it's all going to be. Another little buckle here. Uh, last time I was up here, we got this good luck token. Uh, this good luck horseshoe that is and got my sam brass buckle i got some type of eagle here hunter thinks that came off the top of some type of badge like a police or fireman's badge or something so i looked around for the other pieces couldn't find it i got a great seal button it does have a back mark on it but i can't make out who it is i'll do that later on you probably already seen it in the video and uh, we know that's going to be from 1902 forward. And then my best find is an eight. Is it? We couldn't figure out what that was. 1907 or 1887. I mean, 1897. I can't tell. You guys figure out. I have to put a loop on. I think it's 1907 is what this one is. It's pretty worn and toasty. But... We did have a pretty good time. You can see we dug a lot of treasure, but we also dug a lot of trash. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not coming up to a small town and hitting a bunch of old uh, 18, 1900 homes, even though that's good treasure. 
My greatest treasure, my friend, is what's up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting. Hunter wishes everybody happy hunting. And God bless. <laughs>